Hi, so generally we're still working on air engines. Now as part of my investigation into air engines, I wanted to make some bellows and here's one. Now, I realise that people want to make bellows for an awful lot of reasons, and I thought that the video was actually worthwhile in itself without necessarily being linked in with an engine. So I thought what I would do is make a separate video on how to make bellows. So when I came up with that bellows idea, of course, exactly the next thing I did was have a look at how people are making bellows and what they're used for. And some of the simplest things actually are child's accordions. You find them in concertinas and accordions. And I did think about buying a couple and chopping off the bellows and using the bellows. But then I thought, hmm, they're about 15 quid each. That, I need two. That would be 30 quid. That's quite a lot. And I have these. These are the strips from a Venetian blind. So I, I intend to make my bellows from these Venetian blind strips. Now the first thing to do is to cut the strips into the bellows shapes that I need because the bellows is basically a piece of material with some um, supports glued to that material so it goes into shape. And I need those stiffeners. And those stiffeners I plan on making from the slats of a Venetian blind. So let's get on and do that. So I cut out a bunch like that, dead easy because they're all tied together, just in the chop saw at 45 degrees and they're 10 centimetres along on the inside there and they make the stiffeners. So now we need to undo those and lay them out in the pattern. So when you've separated them, they're like that. Now they have this kind of bow in it because they were Phoenician blinds and you're going to find that an absolute pain in the neck. So all you actually do with them is stick them in a, between a piece of greaseproof paper and quickly run an iron over them. When you do that, they make them flat. And so you've got your flat stiffeners now ready to go. So when you've done that, you need to lay out a strip like this. You need two identical like this where it begins with the long side and then you need two where it begins with the short side. So you'll start it that way. Notice how they interlink like that. So you need two starting short side, two starting long side, obviously finishing long side because you need an even number. And I'm doing 20, but it's just however many you want to do. When you've arranged it like that, we need to register them all. What I do is put a steel bar in the center. There you go, just to hold everything in registration and then tape it down with a bit of masking tape. And you do that, like I say, for four times. You'll notice I'm doing it on this grid. I bother to draw up a grid line there so that I can make everything nice and even. And you need about a two millimeter gap between every stiffening piece. So when you've done that, you basically flip them over and line them up. And you'll see we've got four rows, long, short, long, short. And they're lined up with long and then short and then long and then short, just like that. And I've taped those down so they um, stay in registration with each other. So when you get to this stage, what we need to do is give it a covering. Now we obviously need an airtight covering because we're going to use it for air bellows. But if you were doing something like this for a camera, it just needs to be light tight. Now you could spray that with carpet spray and then glue anything onto it that is going to be relatively impermeable to air and stick to it. I happen to have this stuff. This stuff is actually rather beautiful. It is laminating film, single sided laminating film of very low weight. So it won't make a particularly heavy bellows. Now you can see what I've done. I put the laminating film only in here. So it doesn't come right to the edge. So we do that with the laminating film, flip it over to exactly the same side with another layer. And of course I've got two layers of laminating film. You, if you don't have laminating film, you could just do that twice with a couple of bits of cloth and some carpet spray. Just spray the top, put your cloth on. So basically this is the hardest bit of this actually, is joining the two ends together. Now you can see what I do, I just put a whole load of blocks of wood so that it curls round. You can't put a crease in it, you have to put a curl in it. So it curls round and then I just bring that up like that and there we go, we've got it joined. So I'll change the camera position so you can see that better. So I've got it lined up as well as I want it lined up. I've put another strip of the plastic on there. In this case, if you're using cloth or other materials and glue, you'd obviously use that. And then I just tack it in with the heat. And I can take away this support bar and seal it properly. Yeah. 
Then I need to put another layer on the inside. Okay, so when you've done that, you'll end up with a tube. Now remember, I've also put a bit on the inside and I've run up through the uh, centre of it to make sure that that's sealed. But that's much easier than that outside bit. When you've got your tube, actually, you'll find that it just wants to fold by itself. So you look for the two narrow bits and you give them a push. And always push on the opposite sides. So now we've got narrow bits, long bits, and you'll see it wanting to fold up and you're just helping it to fold and it'll just concertina up all by itself as you follow those bits down. It's actually really kind of cool. And there we go, one set of bellows made out of a Venetian blind. So the only thing I've done once I've finished those bellows packs is to put end pieces on. And these end pieces are just squares of builder's board or Sintra board. Then I put tape around them and I put some of these things in which are polycap nails. They actually do help to seal it but I kind of like the look of it anyway. It looked pretty retro to me and I liked that. So I've made two sets because I want to make an engine out of them, but I make two sets of bellows, and they are actually surprisingly efficient. They give quite a large draft of air, says he, quite a large draft of air, and they seem to be pretty uh, airtight. Now, if you want to make bellows for things like a camera, obviously what you want is light tight. Now, I used the Venetian blind as stiffeners, and they're the integral part of it. The bit that I put on as the cover I happen to have, so it was great because it made it very easy for me. If you're going to use a different material, then obviously if you're making camera bellows, you want a black material that's light proof, and you spray it with carpet glue and put your stiffeners on there. If you want an air type material, obviously you're going to use something plastic or rubberized or cotton that's been painted with latex or some such thing, and again spray it with carpet tile where I just ironed it on. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you. We'll get back now to the engine making, but thank you very much for watching.